everyone. Welcome. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. In today's video, I'm going to be making up a few critter cards. It seems like it's been a while since I've made critter cards. And I'm going to be using a box of the month from the Not Too Shabby Shop. I purchased this back in December and I haven't gotten to it yet, but I was so excited for this one. The box is sold out, but you can buy all of the stamps and pattern paper and ephemera separately if you want. The, the stamps were just so adorable that I knew I had to pick this one up for myself. So I'll just show you what is included in the kit. Jamie always wraps her kits so beautifully. Here is a little baggie with candy and sequins in it. So let's pull out everything. And you get a lot in her kit. You get two complete pads of pattern paper. And this time you get three stamps and two packs of ephemera. But let me show you these adorable critter stamps. These ones are wearing little winter sweaters. I just love that koala bear. And then there's some really great sentiments that go along with it. Now this is the reason I purchased the kit. That little beaver there at the bottom right, he is so cute. So that's the little stamp that decided me on purchasing this kit. And then here is the third one. You get some pretty woodland critters in this one. And of course, some more sentiments. Okay, so let's look at the pattern paper next. And I'll have all of the links to these products listed in the description box if you wanna purchase any of these. But the pattern paper is really fabulous because it's so heavyweight. I like a heavyweight pattern paper and it is double-sided. So I'm going to flip through these patterns and just give you a peek at what these look like. There's some really fun, soft pastels in this pack. And it looks like you get some prints where you could just make a card out of the pattern paper if you wanted to with those cute little teddy bears. And this pattern paper is called Snow Critters. And here's the ephemera that coordinates with it. I'm going to pull this out and just quickly give you a peek at some of the ephemera. So if you don't feel like coloring, ephemera is a great way to go. And I am going to speed up this video just to get through all of these pieces. You get quite a few. Look at that little teddy bear in the teacup, so cute. So like I said, I'm going to be creating some winter cards, but it looks like you could use these for even Christmas cards. The second pad of pattern paper is called Fawns in Winter. There's some really striking patterns in this one. I love those trees. And again, it's double-sided and a very heavy weight. I'll show you the ephemera that goes along with this pattern paper. I'm loving the brown tones of the pattern paper, as well as the ephemera pieces. That little owl is so cute, and the fawn. And then there's just a wide variety of ephemera pieces. Oh, and I really love this wreath piece. Okay, so let's get into the card crafting. I'm going to be creating five cards with this, and I'm going to start with my favorite of the three stamp sets. And this stamp set is called Cozy Forest Friends. So let's pull out the beaver and the rabbit, and I'm going to color in the fox. I'll bring out the tree as well in just a minute, but I'm going to ink them up using some My Favorite Things black ink. It's called Extreme Black Ink because this is a great ink to use when you're going to be coloring in your images with Copic markers or alcohol markers. I do stamp this out several times to get a nice dark impression. And then here it is all ready to go. Because I stamped it out so many times, I'm going to allow this panel to dry before I start in on my Copic coloring because I don't want it to smear. 
This is a piece of 80 pound Nina Solar White that I stamped them onto. And I usually like to use the 110 pound Nina Solar White because it's a little bit thicker and the images won't bleed so much when you put a lot of alcohol ink down onto it. But I'm out of the 110 pound. I'm just using what I have. <laughs> so the little bunny's going to be white. I added some gray highlights to him. And then his scarf is going to be pink. For most of the images, I'm using two shades of each color just to add some dimension. And then the beaver, I'm coloring in lightest to darkest. You could, of course, start with the darkest colors and then blend them out with lighter colors. And I wasn't getting a really good blend between these two particular markers, but I'm just going to go with it. I think it looks really cute. And then for his scarf, I'm going to bring in some blue markers. And I like how these images have the little cheeks drawn in for you. So I added a little bit of pink to their cheeks. And then I'll actually use three Copic markers on this one to add some dimension. Now for the fox, again, I'm starting out with the lightest color first and working my way to the darkest colors. You can see all the markers I'm using up at the top left there if you're interested. I'm going to come in with a, a little bit of a darker orange. It just needed a little more pop to it. But this fox is so cute. I'll add some gray Copic markers to the white parts on his face. And then his scarf is going to be green. I'm going to use these same greens on the tree, so I'll put down my lightest color first and then bring in the darker marker to add a little bit of shading. Okay, so these images are all ready to go. My caps were kind of leaking, so I'm just wiping up the excess alcohol ink there. <laughs> and here's a close-up look. I am going to fussy cut these out. I'm using some dies from Trinity Stamps. This is an older set. I'll I'll link it if it's still available, but it's their mini slimline dies, and I like how it has this tri-panel window insert, and I just glued that down with some liquid glue. I didn't know which sentiment I wanted to use, so I stamped out two, and then I can pop up my little critters with some foam pieces. Before I attach the middle window critters, I'm going to put down my sentiment and I pop that up with foam squares as well. So the tree is half on and half off of the frame. So I'm adding a little piece of scrap paper so that it will be the same height as the frame. And then I can just glue that down flat. I'm trying out some new glue. This is from scrapbook.com and it's just called Smart Craft Glue. I'm really liking it so far. Okay, now we can pop up the fox and we'll just kind of tuck him behind the sentiment. This card will measure three by six once it's done. Now I can attach this to the card base. I'm going to attach a few sequins around this panel. And here is a close up look at card number one. But aren't those critters so much fun? I love those. I'm going to have to color in the other ones. Okay, I'm going to stamp out some critters from the set called Snuggle Weather. I have the bear, the rabbit, and the koala. And these images are going to be for card, cards two, three, and four. But again, I'm going to color them in with Copic markers, and I'll speed this up for the sake of time. And again, I'm starting with the lightest color first and going darker from there. I love these little sweaters that the critters are wearing. And I think my favorite has to be that koala, and then that little bunny is so cute. I just love how they're drawn. And that belly on that bear, I just had to stamp him out. 
The sweaters are going to be colored in very simply, as well as the scarves. But you could go all out and use different colors on each stripe of the sweater. But his scarf is going to be green. So I'll start with the lightest green. And then I'll come in with a medium green. And then an even darker green. His sweater I want to be pink. Kind of a rosy pink. So my markers keep leaking, so I have to wipe them up <laughs> the side of my mat. A lot of my Copic markers have dried out. I need to buy refills for them. And I have been just doing that as the need arises. But now there are a bunch in my collection that I need to buy refills for. And that's not cheap, but I do love my Copic markers over any other kind of alcohol marker. And I love that you can refill them. I know there are a lot of alcohol markers out there on the market. I think I'm just going to be sticking with my Copics. Okay, now on to the bunny. I'm coloring in the bunny with some more neutral grays. And then his little sweater is going to be a very soft purple. Do you guys have a favorite type of alcohol marker? If so, leave me a comment in the description box below and let me know what you like. I would love to hear that. Okay, let's add some shading to the purple sweater. And now for the koala, I'm using warm grays for this critter. The warm grays have kind of a brownish tone to them, so I thought that they would be perfect to color in this little koala bear. And again, I'm just going to build up my color and shadow slowly. Each of these images is going on a separate card. So I am going to color in his sweater pink <laughs> like I did with the bear. These would be really fun to send out as Valentine's Day cards. Okay, I keep all of my Copics on my desk in front of me to my left. I'm just grabbing a bunch of pinks and reds here. This sweater is going to be a little bit different from the bears. I'm starting out with the R20, and then I move on to the R22, and then the R24. So it's a little bit darker. Okay, I'll put my markers away, and these are ready to fussy cut. So let's get started with assembling card number two. This is going to be kind of a graphic looking card because I'm going to stamp several sentiments onto a piece of the pattern paper. And I cut this out with a Spellbinders die. It's their mini slimline die set. I put foam adhesive behind the koala and now I can attach this to a three by six inch white card base. The sentiment at the bottom just helps him look like he's not floating out in space. And it says, feels like a snuggle weather kind of day. And then the other ones say, warm hugs and let's chill. So this is my very chaotic collection of embellishments. I need to organize this and clean this out. I just keep this in one of my drawers next to my desk. But I'm trying to find some dots to put on this card. And I found a color that I like, and it blends in pretty well with the pattern paper, but I'm just going to go with it. It's just more of a simple, subtle look. I purchased these at Hobby Lobby, I believe. I like these dots. And I'm just going to put three of them on this card. And then let me give you a close-up look at the finished card. If I were to add a few hearts to this one, I think it would be a really cute valentine. Now on to card number three, and I'm going to be using the same design. I'll stamp out a bunch of sentiments, and then the sentiment that the bear is going to be standing on, because I'm going to use the bear on this one, the sentiment is perfect for him. It says, wake me when winter is over. 
I'll peel off the release paper from these foam squares and pop him up. And then the sentiments above him say a friendly hello and warm hugs. And I used the exact same die to cut out this piece of pattern paper, so it's going to be another 3 by 6 inch card. I added some very subtle green dots on this one. And now for card number four. I really love the pattern paper on this one. It's a white piece of pattern paper with blue snowflakes on it. And the sentiment under the bunny is going to say, no winter is too cold when you have enough love. And then the others say, let's chill and a friendly hello. I colored in another tree with some very cool pale blues. And I'm going to glue this down behind the bunny. He just needed a little something extra. He's such a small image. I'll pick this up with my tweezers. And I want to position this so it's just right behind him. Or right to the side of him, I should say. And then I put foam pieces behind the bunny. And then again, I'll put this on a white card base. And this time I'm adding some glossy dots. I believe these are from Pink and Main. And they were just the perfect blue color for this card. I'm glad I'm using up some embellishments from my stash. <laughs> I usually use a lot of Spellbinders embellishments. Okay, and here is a close-up look at card number four. For card number five, I'm going to be stamping out a little scene with the images from the stamp set called, uh, let's see, this one is called Dear Friends. And again, I'm stamping them out with extreme black ink. I put my arrangement on my panel. And then when you have a scene that the images are overlapping, you'll want to stamp out the front ones first. And so I'm making up some masks for these. The masking paper I'm using, I've had in my stash for a while. It's from Inka Dinka Do. And I'm just using up some of my scraps. While I'm at it, and while I'm going to all of this work, I'm going to stamp out two panels. That way I can have two cards, or if I mess up on the first one, I can have a second one to try again. But I'm going to put the masks over the bunny and the bear. So they are going to be in front. Now I can stamp out the two deer images and they'll appear as though they're behind the bunny and the bear. And I want to stamp out the stump as well. And you can see the panel up at the top left. As I progress through my stamping, I go ahead and stamp that panel out as well. I stamped out the bird on top of the log. And now this panel is ready to color in. And again, I'm using Copic markers. I'll start by coloring in the images. And the bunny's going to be white again with some gray shadows. The deer, I was having problems with deciding which colors to use, and so I kind of oversaturated the paper and got some bleeding. And again, this is 80 pound cardstock, so I tend to get a lot of bleeding with the 80 pound as it is. But that's all right, I'm going to color in a scene behind these critters. I'm just having fun playing with my Copic markers. And now for the stump. I'll come in with a darker brown to add some shadows, and then a lighter brown at the top. These stamps are really nice because they have little dots or stippling on them where you need to put the shadows, so that helps out a lot. Now for the bird, he's going to be a blue bird with a little brown belly. Let's add a darker color just to add a little more dimension to the bird. And now for the bear. He's so cute how he's kind of hunched over. <laughs> now for some shading. And I'm going to come in with even a darker color of brown. And then I can blend this out with my lighter shades of brown. 
The second deer, I'm just going to use the same colors as the first. And since I already colored in the one deer, I'm going to just come in with the darkest colors first and go light. Okay, now for the scene. So I want to draw in a little clearing around the critters. This is going to be a springtime scene, a very early springtime scene where there's still snow on the ground, but it's starting to melt. So I'm drawing in some dirt or earth around the critters. And then the rest is going to be snow and sky. So I'll have a little bit of snow in the front and I'm using some light blues for that. I'll add some shadows to the snow just with a, a little bit of a darker brown color and then some grass. And now for the, the soft sky behind them. And these two markers that I'm using for this sky really need a refill. <laughs> so I'm just struggling to get enough of the alcohol marker down on the paper. I'm going to come in with some darker colors for the earth around the critters and some darker shadows under them. And then even some more blues for the snow. So this is a very subtle scene, but it was fun to color in. I'm also using a zero marker just to blend the blue sky into white. And I just keep going back between the sky and the little clearing that they're sitting in, just adding darker colors as I need. I'm going to come back in with the lightest brown and just kind of go over the clearing one more time. The sentiment is going to say a friendly hello. I'll stamp that out with some VersaFine Onyx Black ink. And then I can attach this to a black card base this time. So I'll add a panel inside the card to write a message. I could use white gel pen, but sometimes it's nice just to have a panel on the inside. And this one's cute because it has the scalloped edges. The card base is a little bit larger than a three by six. And I wanted to have a black border around my main panel. And I'm just going to glue this down flat. I didn't add any sequins to this card, but I did come in with a white gel pen and just kind of put little highlights here and there on the critters. And here is a close up look. I hope you enjoyed this critters and Copic marker video today. I didn't get to the ephemera packs yet, but I will leave a link to those as well as the stamps and the pattern paper in the description box. I hope you all have a wonderful crafty day. Take care. Bye.